The snow and sub-zero temperatures are causing some problems for mail carriers around the area as well. Our Alexis Means spent the day with part of the day with a postman. As he braved the rugged conditions, Alexis live with a story tonight. Well, Lee, this is more than a story about how they cope with the weather. The mail carrier I talked to today says while you may need your magazine, other customers may need their medicine. I moved out here from Los Angeles, California, where it was warm all the time. Wore shorts and a t-shirt. Loved it out there. Even though we've got all the seasons out here, I still love it because I get to see people. Mail carrier Mike Isbell says working in the bitter cold is part of the job. He says this is the coldest, worst winter he can remember. He's been delivering mail for 24 years. He's trekked through a lot of snow. He says he hears the concerns of customers all the time, but says he's an essential part of the community. They say that they feel sorry for me. They thank me for bringing them their mail. They also sometimes tell me that the mail could wait, but in my opinion, that may be for their needs, but there could be somebody else that's counting on us to bring them their medicine that they're almost out of. Isbell says he wears lots of clothes and keeps moving to stay warm. Try and cover up as many, as much exposed skin as possible and layer up with uh, thin layers so that that way there are multiple layers. Many of the sidewalks and steps were cleared as he went door to door. He couldn't help to think about the postal workers in the rural areas where in some cases streets aren't passable and mail carriers can't get to mailboxes. I can only imagine that has got to be a difficult job with all the snow drifts and the wind, not knowing where the road is. Isbell says despite the sub-zero temperatures, he enjoys his job. When you're in a public service job uh, and the public acknowledges uh, their gratitude, that's always a, a heartwarming thing. Now the mail carriers say they also get a chance to check on the elderly in our area. Full mailboxes sometimes tip them off that something is wrong. Reporting live, Alexis Means, 13ABC Action News.